Ariel, so you're heading up ODHE with Jean this year. Why did we get involved in this project? Well, we applied to be involved in the project because we're a professional network of organisational developers working in higher education. And our key purpose is to support organisational change and strategic development. So we recognise the need for our, not only ourselves to become more digital, Literate. Um, but to, this was an excellent opportunity to engage in a project that we could then very uh, transparently um, have influence within our own institutions, uh, supporting um, other projects that are happening there. Having that very conversation where some of my colleagues really struggle with someone looking at a gadget rather than having an iPad and others in the room thinking that's perfectly acceptable and as a facilitator I don't know where I am with the group so I find that tricky. I think digital literacy has its place in terms of imparting information and people taking notes and learning from it. However, in meetings, when you're expecting some interaction, communication being truly two-way, I get sick of talking to the top of somebody's head and waiting for them to finish fiddling around on this piece of equipment before they'll give me eye contact and some response. So, uh, I think the whole use of digital literacy is very contextual and situational and where it, ha it happens to be extremely useful in some situations it isn't useful in all situations and I think where you're talking genuinely about two-way um, picking up people's eye contact, body language, that sort of thing um, I think it, we could be in danger of being overused in those circumstances I think for me I was still trying to understand fully what digital literacy is. It wasn't even in my terminology until the store's whole presentation by, uh, by Bex, by itself. Um, and, and for me now it's sort of understanding all the different media. So I came away from the store's hall thinking I need a, a programme which is social media for the terrified because I don't really understand any of it. But what, because of the job that I hold, because it's this rolling tide of acceptance, I can't be a Luddite all the time. I did actually go back, look at all the uh, video footage, um, I did actually use some of the questions and went out to all the people in our leadership and action programme, to our middle managers, to ask them what technology they had, what technology, both at the moment at work, what they used, what they, what they knew about. And we will be using that to try and identify how we can communicate better. Absolutely. Digital literacy is something that something that is needed in terms of the student experience, how we present information, how we engage with other people, but in terms of our work as well, it really is about how we look forward and, and introduce new ways of working. Now in terms of what I've learned, we are quite traditional where we are on some of the ways we do things, and the session at Stores Hope really was something which catapulted us as a team to really look at what's been done within our university and as a consequence of that we've been looking to different faculties and schools to find out what they're doing so we can align some of our processes in OMD to um, better coordinate the services that we provide to them. Discussion at Stotts Hall, um, what, it, what it helped me is to think about my, my own engagement with, with this uh, media and what I use, and I use quite a lot, but I see there's a, there's a big resistance in the group to embrace you know, some of these new, new methods, and it's, it's quite um, ingrained resistance in, in anything that's, that's got to do with um, you know, you know, digital media, that is. but I'm quite curious to see what, what else comes in. I, I'm trying to find out about new apps, I'm using my iPhone the extension of my hand yeah. <laughs> and that seems to annoy quite a lot of people um, so I think I'm quite different to the to the main um, view of the, the group here. In terms of digital literacy uh, my role which is to do with corporate social responsibility, environmental initiatives, uh, also business continuity, uh, the main factor is communication and I need to 
find the best way of communicating or as many varied ways of communicating with people because it is about engagement specifically with environmental and CSR initiatives without the engagement it doesn't matter what we plan to do we need to get staff and students on board. But, um, digital literacy is important for IT professionals because people that we work with most, which are our academics and professional services, are working with students who are having greater expectations on us in the technological age and in the um, era of them engaging with iPads, online, social networking. And I think if we're going to provide support and service for our client base, which is essentially those professionals and academics within universities, we need to understand it. If we can't do it our, ourselves, if we don't get to grips with what it can do for um, the organisation, the students and how they can use it, then I don't think we're in a position to be able to help and support them with their development.